What's up guys, it's Sean. I want to put together a video that's a little different than what I've been doing on the channel lately, and that's a lighting diagram video. So I've been doing these things over on my blog for a little while, breaking down how I shot different scenes, and I thought it'd be a nice addition to my YouTube channel as well as a supplement to what I'm doing over on the blog. So for this particular scene, we're talking about a photograph that I created of my friend Jamar. We shot this in the studio with just a single light. We used one camera, one lens, and just try to keep things super simple with the backdrop as well. Jamar is just dressed in all black, so we decided to pull down the black seamless backdrop and use that as our only piece of the scene. The only other thing that we brought in was the stool that you can see here, which I actually think gives a nice complement with the black and the brown. So we can take a few minutes to break down exactly how we did that, and for some of that, we'll jump over to the iPad. Okay, you can see a little bit of a catch light here in his eyes, and we can kind of tell what the direction of the light is because we have this nice shadow that's falling on the side of his face here. So that kind of tells us that our light is up here in this corner, and it's kind of directing light in this general direction. We can see that it's also spilling onto the background, which is actually working in our favor because it's creating this nice rim around him that's separating him from that black background. You can see we're also picking up a little bit of shape on his shoes here because we're using that lantern. But we're also letting some of the scene fall to black, and that's because we don't have any sort of bounce or any other secondary light that's adding any kind of fill into the scene. As I often do over on the blog, I decided to put together a diagram that actually shows you what I used and how I used it for the particular scene. Check it out here. For this scene, we only used one light, and that was the Flashpoint 600 series light. It's an older light, but it still holds up really well, and it's battery powered, so you can move it around pretty easily. Attached to that, we used the Glow 31 inch lantern and that provided like a really nice soft wrapping light that we were able to use and just put that in kind of a Rembrandt style lighting setup. We shot everything with the Leica M240 and the 50 millimeter F2, the Summicron. Our settings were pretty mild. We used F2 at 1 60th of a second and then we used 250 ISO. And some of that was because we were actually shooting film originally. We shot on some Ilford HP5 that we were shooting at 250 instead, and then we had those settings just to make sure that we could hit our sync speed on the film camera that I was using. It actually turns out that the sync speed was 1 1 25th, so I was a little low at that 1 60th, but I think the results are still fine. All right, that's everything for this scene. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later.